Hey, it's Ryan at Guadney Performance Innovation. I want to take a minute to go over a new camshaft we have for the uh, LT1 naturally aspirated setups. Um, introducing our LT NFC no fly cut cam. So we've been testing this camshaft a little bit over the last year. Um, we couldn't be more happy with the results. Uh, kind of surprised me actually with the kind of power it made. So this uh, setup is kind of designed around milling the heads up to a maximum of 40 thousandths while running a uh, 40 thousandths thick head gasket. You need to run the increased compression with this camshaft. It is large enough to need uh, that increase in static compression. Our test uh, car that ran this camshaft uh, made 590s uh, at the wheels on our dyno on E85, your basic supporting bolt-on mods. It had our ported heads milled with the thin gaskets. And uh, this camshaft, of course, in combination with the Holly High Ram manifold. Now, you can run this uh, camshaft also with the LT2 and MSD manifolds. Um, that's just going to draw the RPM curve back, you know, three to 500 RPMs or so. Uh, 7,000 plus RPM is going to be where this thing really wants to be shifted, where it's set up to operate. It's a, it is a higher RPM camshaft. Um, an awesome benefit though that we have with this camshaft that, that you lose with a lot of larger aggressive camshafts, A, we've got piston to valve clearance to increase the compression and not have to fly cut. B, uh, drivability is phenomenal with this camshaft. I was blown away at not only how much easier this camshaft was to tune, um, but the drivability manners were, were very good with this camshaft and it would be suitable for your automatic and manual cars. The auto cars will certainly uh, require a large converter uh, to, get this, to get the RPMs in the power curve where this camshaft makes power, but uh, this thing's silky smooth in comparison to, uh, to you know, some large radical camshafts, and uh, it doesn't give up much power uh, uh, in, in doing so either. So I want to take a few minutes, uh, go over some details with this thing. Like I said, this thing's been um, 590s on our dyno. It's been 990s in the quarter at 137 miles an hour at about 3,600 pound race weight. So um, it's not some dolled up uh, dyno queen. Uh, the camshaft puts in work. It's quite the unit and uh, it's super impressive for what it is, uh, for as convenient as it is to make power and not have to fly cut. Um, it's a win-win. Get yours today. Thanks.